Hello and welcome to another long delayed episode of Minecraft. Uh, if I edited this right, what you should have just seen was David running through the maze that I built way back one that I was telling you guys about. And, uh, and yeah, he actually solved it a lot faster than I expected. But, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Um, honestly, I've just kind of been in a bit of a, of a slump with Minecraft. I haven't really wanted to start anything new, uh, because I just haven't been in the mood. But, um, but I've built a couple things. I've gotten actually something ready for Christmas. Um, and I've got to try to figure out a time when we can all get on the server at the same time so we can do Christmas. But I thought what I would do today, because there's been so many new things going up, is I thought I would uh, show you guys some of the new stuff that's been going up around here. So, um, so yeah, I guess let's just get right into it. So you remember a few weeks back, several weeks back I guess now, I was building a big, I was planning to build a big tower for food, and I was going to do carrots and wheat and potatoes and that didn't work out so well so I turned it into an entire wheat farm and the way this thing works it's completely automatic but these villagers are all farmer villagers and you just saw this one I, that was really convenient <laughs> you just saw this one harvest the wheat and I filled his inventory with seeds so the only thing he can pick up is seeds and there's a minecart that goes around underneath that and will pick up the wheat that he harvests and put into these hoppers. So I've got three layers of wheat, and it's as big as it can be with one square of water. And I have them all empty into this line of hoppers that go into these chests, which is along this wall. Uh, and it's not completely full yet, but uh, it's getting there. So, you saw me build these two. There should be a video for these two things. And uh, those will empty into these two walls, like you saw. Um, but yeah, that's as far as, as, the, as the automatic food stuff at the spawn goes. Um, a couple other things is Tom uh, finally <laughs> built some sort of presence at the spawn point. This is his train station. And he decided to put up an abstract art project as well, something to to spruce up the place, but it's nothing really all that fancy. Um, he hasn't really done much inside yet, and I'm not entirely sure if he's planning to. Uh, let's take a look up here. Yeah, so there's there's really not much here, it's just more, I guess, of a architecture thing to look at. Um, let's see, what else? I decided to decorate the center of the spawn point as well there wasn't really anything here and it's kind of an awkward uh space so i decided to decorate a little bit put a little bit of like a like a, a maze or like a real easy maze in the middle here um, and then i decided to commemorate the beginning of the of the server with this little room these are the original chests that we built when we first got on the server what else I think I showed you this. Um, this is actually what I've been setting up, and I'm not. I don't know if I'll show you this tonight or not. Um, this is what we call, and I can't remember if I've shown you this either. We call this the Civic Center, and it's just kind of like a home away from home for each of us. Um, everybody kind of got to pick a room. Um, and we each, you know, we picked a, we picked a space, and uh, there's a chest there and a crafting table, and I'm not sure who all has claimed a spot yet. Um, I think it might just be me and Ben for now, but you know, I <laughs> I decided to decorate things, and uh, I actually have my chest back there, but you can't see it, and you have to have a special key to get inside. Let's see what else and then there you can go other places there's public storage if if anybody wants to store things away from their their place um, but it's I think it's kind of up for grabs if we put it in there but yeah Ben actually has been doing most of the big builds around here as far as just making buildings 
and he's got a really specific art style and uh not art architecture style that I'm not sure where he developed it from but it's pretty cool here let me make the weather clear what else so there's this big building that again Ben has been putting up and it's not done yet and I'm not sure what this is even going to be but I'm not gonna get you too far into this because like I said it's not done but I'm pretty excited to see what it's going to be and see how he's gonna furnish the inside but I mean you can kinda tell it's in the same style as the as the Civic Center so um, so yeah I'm pretty excited about about seeing that let's see as far as the spawn point goes then I think that's that's pretty much it so next I think I will take you to alright so we are now coming up to Ben's base and like I said he has a very very specific architectural style um, and he's carried that through most of his builds and I'm not sure if he's planning to keep it that way for everything but uh, he's just done some really cool stuff he's got all of his farms in this hole that he dug and he's got everything split up and uh, planted in here I'm not sure if he's gonna do anything down here but he's also got he's the one that built all these waypoint towers around the server and uh, I guess if you see something that looks architecturally interesting Ben is probably the one that made it um, I'm trying to think how I get in here right here so he's got his own little stable <laughs> and uh, I had never thought of doing this with the doors but horses can't go through this space they need a full uh, uh, at least two blocks to go through so this was a pretty smart way of of building stables that horses can't get through but again very much Ben's style Ben's look um, and just a just a cool location as well he really he built it into the mountain very well not so much underground like mine is but uh but yeah I think it fits in really well so down here he's got <laughs> all of his furnaces and uh, a bunch of storage for himself and then he's got a tree farm and all sorts of other stuff but the really interesting part architecturally of his place is up here he's got it's kinda like I don't know if you've ever been to the house on the rock which I think that's in Wisconsin but it reminds me a lot of that and it looks to me like he hasn't done a lot of furnishing of this place I think he's more of just a build it and then move on to the next build kinda of person which is fine but yeah again very much the geometric you know solid style so I think next I'm going to take you over to um, I'll probably take you over to David's but I think we're going to stop on the way there because he built something on the way what's this over here I haven't been to Ben's base in a while and he's actually the one that's closest to me as far as oh it's a it's a dock oh, but as far as placement on the server he chose a spot pretty close to me so I'm not sure where these go and uh, I guess now is probably not the best time to go find out but uh but yeah I'll take you over to David's and we'll take a look at what he's got going on so this is what I wanted you to see David decided to build a sphinx in the middle of the desert on the way to his base and uh, and again I'm actually pretty jealous of Ben and David because uh, and I think Jared's got a pretty cool place too but they actually make cool looking things like their their whole way of playing Minecraft is making nice looking things versus my way of Minecraft is 
make everything as automated as possible. <laughs> Basically play the game so that you don't have to play the game. But uh but yeah, so David built this awesome sphinx in the middle of the desert. And uh I don't know. I mean, it's nothing. There's nothing else in here. Uh I asked him if he was going to move his base to the sphinx and he said no, he just built it to build it. But um but yeah, just something cool I wanted you guys to see. So we're coming up on David's base. And you can always tell you're close because of the creeper face that he made. And then he's got like this Olympic torch thing that he put off in the distance. And uh, let's see, what else? Alright, and we have been here before. Um, and I don't think this is his main base anymore, to be honest. I think this was the first thing that he built. And... Uh, then he decided to move on and do something else at a different base. But uh, this is kind of his, I guess, switching station. So he could either go up to his castle, which is up here. And it's entirely made of cobblestone, so it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But it's still pretty cool. And uh, if I remember right, it is the first thing that he built on the server. So, let's see. Over here, I believe he has his nether portal, which is a pretty cool looking nether portal, to be honest. And then, let's see if we can figure out where his base is. I'm pretty sure his new base, yes. So this is his new base. In the distance, you can see this lighthouse that he's got. And then, this is something I was planning to show you, and uh, was not sure if I was going to, because I couldn't quite remember where it was. But yeah, he built this lighthouse. And it actually, I think it works, but it doesn't look like it's working right now. So I don't know if it needs to be turned on or if it only turns on at, and at night, uh, which is entirely possible. But yeah, he built this, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. So over here, I believe him and Jared are making this crazy arena and am I inside something here I think they actually are building this mountain it looks like they're building this mountain yes <laughs> so yeah they're they're building this stadium and I think they mean it to be like a player versus player stadium so so yeah, when I last saw them building this, I think it was like two weeks ago maybe, it was just dirt here. And now it's, you know, this this whole biome with a mountain that they've built. So this is coming along pretty well from the looks of it. And I'm pretty excited to see, see where they go with it and what we're going to end up using it for. But, uh, but yeah, so that's what David's got going on. And... I think for this, that's all I'm going to show you. Um, I don't think much has gone on with the rest of the guys on the server. Uh, I know Tom had mentioned that he's he's kind of in between ideas and isn't quite sure where he wants to go. And uh, I think I've shown you Jared's place and it, it hasn't changed either. So I've showed you now the big things that... Uh, that I think have changed here in, in the more impressive things on the server. So, I think that's all I have for you tonight. Sorry if it's a shorter video, but uh, I had a request to show some of the other stuff on the server besides just mine. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for you. Hopefully the next video won't take quite so long in between, but I can't make any guarantees. It kind of depends on when we can get everybody on the server so we can do our, do our little Christmas thing. But, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.